guys, today I'm going to show you a sweet project. What we're going to make is a DIY AC unit for your garage. It is sweet because I made one, I know it, I have it, it works. You're going to sweat to death if you don't have one of these, I promise you. What first thing you need is an uh, old cooler. Everybody has them, everybody's throwing them away. You have a few in your garage you don't need. Let's go. You got to be able to drill holes in them. That's why you don't want somebody yelling at you if you use them. All right, guys, so here's what you're going to need for this cool project. An old cooler, a drill, a drill tip, a 5-H drill bit, some painter's tape, a marker, a ventilation fan, an electric extension cord, and your jigsaw. The thing I'm going to do is use a 5-H drill bit to drill evenly spaced holes into the cooler so I have the right amount of air going over my ice. I put blue painter's tape and I use a marker to trace out the hole of the ventilation fan. And I used the tape so that the plastic would not chip. And I wanted to get a clean cut. So once I pull the blue tape, it will show me that it's a nice smooth cut and I'm very happy with it. Let's dry fit this uh, ventilation fan and make sure it's very snug because I don't want there to be any loss of air. Um, here it goes, it fits great. I really love it. I use it every night, it's very efficient. It's a fun little project, very easy and I hope you really give this a try. Um, but one trick I will tell you, because I ran into this when I was making it, is <clears throat> the ventilation pressure, okay? What that means is this. While you're drilling the holes, make sure they're evenly spaced. Um, but I didn't know this till the last hole. While I was drilling, you don't know what the appropriate amount of holes are. It's really for the square footage of your cooler. So basically, the way you'll know is the air pressure that comes out of this hole um, has to be the same open when the cooler is open as when it's closed. That's how you know you put the right amount of holes. Um, that was a trick, I, I guess I was like, wow, it doesn't work. And then once I did that last hole, it was like, perfect. It's the same, there's no like leak in air. So I like to use gallons of water and keep them in the freezer to get solid as a rock. And the reason why I don't use bags of ice, uh, so that, cause it is an electrical unit, I don't want it to melt and get all like over the core unit. So I, I can contain the water into the gallon uh, if there is any you know, water that's kind of like condensation, I could wipe it clean or drain it a little bit and that's it. Then I don't have any electrical issues. I, you know, I'm not looking to have a fire in my house. Um, it's a cool project. It takes no time to do. It looks cool. Uh, your friends will be jealous. You bring it around if you want to, just to show off. And I like to use it when I'm working in the garage so I can work late at night. Even I live here in Florida. So even at night, it's hot. So get yourself one of these, have fun making it. And let me know how you like this uh, video and tell me what you want to see next. If you have something interesting you want me to make, I can definitely make it. I'm built that way. I like to come up with cool little things. Let me know, all right? Appreciate it. Thanks for watching and subscribe, all right?